Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, this time we'll be going over uh, gas mixture still. Um, now, in the last video, we went over partial pressures, total pressure, vapor pressure, all that stuff. Uh, in this video, we're going to actually concentrate our efforts on understanding molar fraction and mole percents. And uh, this is just a you know the equation that talks about you know, the following about the number of moles of each type of gas and everything summed up divided give you an average. All right, basically all that a mole fraction is is a decimal form of an answer. A mole percent is exactly that. It's a percentage, meaning it's going to get multiplied by 100. So we'll go over some of these, and you know you'll see what we're talking about. Once again, mole percent is stated as the following. Uh, you basically take the individual and divide it by the total. And the decimal form of that is the uh, mole fraction. And the mole percent would be the one that you would get once you multiply by 100. All right. Sometimes the easiest way to understand these is actually to work a problem. So let's work this problem that we see here. Now. We are going to uh, do this practice problem that says, what is the mole fraction and mole percent of each of each component of a mixture composed of 0 0.2 zero zero moles of O2 and 0 0.500 moles of N2? Well, this is what we know. Let me pull up the webcam so you can see it. This is what we know. We've got a gas. The gas is made up of N2 and O2. We don't really need to know anything else really else about the gas except it's made up of nitrogen and oxygen. Now, uh, their molar amounts is basically a total of their individual numbers. They told us that nitrogen uh, was basically uh, 0 0.500 moles of nitrogen and they told us that the oxygen was 0 0.200 moles. Now if you look that's a total of, if you have these together, 0 0.700 moles. Okay, so if we want to calculate the mole fraction, this is what we would do. A lot of books just show it with a fancy little X like this. You know, notice that it's an X, you know, but you just make the first curved. Anyway, so the mole fraction of N2 is really like that. Equals, now remember, the individual amount of just the N2 was 0 0.500. Okay, now that's moles. Okay, let me know what's of N2. But it's also going to be divided by the 0 0.700 moles. Okay, now when we do this, we know to keep 3 sig figs because that's what's there is 3 sig figs. So we'll bring up the calculator. I'll push it over to the side so we can see the problem. We have zero point uh whoops my bad zero point five hundred divided by zero point seven hundred. Now that gives us the following. Now we only need three sig figs, so we'll write down zero point seven one four. Because that two can't push the four up to a five. Now this answer right here is our mole fraction. Now, this mole fraction is for the N2. Okay? Now, if you wanted the mole percent of this, you would swing the decimal two times to the right, and you would get the following. You'd get 71.4 percent. And that would be your mole you guessed it, percent. Okay, so we have it. We have it calculated for the mole fraction of N2, and we do the same thing on the O2. Okay, let me clear the screen, minimize this. 
So you have the mole fraction of O2 equals, then you go 0 0.200 moles divided by 0 0.700 moles. And you punch that in the calculator, which I need to back up. That would be 0 0.200 divided by 0 0.700 which is, remember, three sig figs 0 0.28 and now look at the 5 here, okay? to the right to 7, that's going to push the 5 up to a 6 6 now remember, that's our mole fraction okay, so we got that part answered and my mole percent will be, swing the decimal two times to the right, will be 28.6%. And this will be my mole percent. Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful and was clear and it benefits you. Alright guys, just remember the individual amounts of the individual gases go on top. The, the total of those gases will go to the bottom. Alright guys, that's it. Oh, time for the credits. Good luck.